Hey guys, so today's video we're going to look at three different ways that we can get more level out of your monitors. So these are three different ways I've used, so we're just going to look at them one after the other and then we'll go through them. So one's um, by a specific plugin, um, one is use the expander on your desk and one is use your finger. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in a bit. So we've got an SQ6 here, just um, using the gate function on it because it doesn't have an expander. Um, we're using uh, the depth not all the way in though, um, and that is on her vocal mic that we're looking at there. And that is allowing us to just pull down the levels um, when she backs off from the mic by like 20 dB-ish. Um, so it's kind of automatically doing it, I'm obviously keeping an eye on it all the time. And that is um, affecting every mix. Um, this is another way of doing it, so this is using my finger on the wedges in front of her. So on the wedge send, um, I'm physically controlling the amount of uh, her mic going to those wedges. And when she backs off from the mic, I'm turning it down with my finger and <laughs> using good old hand-eye coordination. Looks like I'm looking away from her, but I'm actually looking through the camera there because it's a 360 camera. So you can see eyes on the client the whole time. And uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit for you, and then you can see my finger is uh, getting all the monies today, uh, just like taking it out when uh, she's not singing. So uh, there's like a way you can use, oh there you go, um, turn it down for you, using the old finger trick. Um, so obviously that's only affecting her mix in the wedges, she's got in-ears in as well, and then it doesn't affect anyone else in the band. Um, it was super loud on stage and the wedges were obviously wrung out but just having a few issues so rather than stop everything and carry on and mess around it's just easier to just make it happen and uh, this is the best way of doing it for me at the time so there's two ways for, of it and then uh, let's just look at PSC from a wave so primary source expander so it works in a very similar way to the gate um, but it's obviously custom made for this job so we'll just have a look at that now this is not a song I've ever heard before. I've literally opened a random multi-track file and I'm just gonna uh, see what happens really. So yeah, I've never heard this before in my life. Um, I've got some loads of multi-tracks. Um, I'm just gonna have a look at this. So there's nothing happening on it at the moment. Um, let me just drag F6 on and I'll show you what I've done there. So this isn't in, so that's out With that love. And that's so taking out a bit of the top and a bit of the high end. You know I and saw Miss Lucy. End. She was down along the track. Nothing she lost her home and her family, and she won't be coming back. With that love. Whoa, where we're jumping now, yeah. So we're only listening to her vocal anyway. Uh, but we're here With to look at PSC. Love. So this is PSC. Just close that. And the southern Santa Fe Gotta keep on pushing bumper You know they run late that love So this is PSC So you've got your level coming in And just like on a gate or on a compressor you've got your threshold When it's over that nothing happens down here you Turn it up more the, um, this would engage. So if you loop down there, you throw this in. So every time it goes over, it turns it down by 10. Forming an iron frisco. And the southern Santa Fe Gonna keep on pushing my butt Throw that threshold up a little bit Over exaggerate it for you. Hey, the way pistols keep on turning, and the wheels go round and round. Oh, we're sitting in this golden cover about to hit the ground oh, with our love. Where would you be now? Right now, with our love. 
but you can see this is just doing what it was doing with the um, gate on the uh, SQ6 on that first example. Um, so obviously there's a way to only ever like, take it to minus 10 maximum. Gotta move it out. I'll keep just drop it out. So keep on moving. Come back in. Keep on moving. So there you go, there's a little look at PSC for you. So there's the three ways. So first way is uh, something you could do on every single console with an SQ6 I'm using there. Um, so it's using the gate essentially as an expander. And then um, we looked at using the finger method, but you can obviously automate that yourselves. Um, if you've got Logic Pro like I'm using here, you could easily automate a send um, if you wanted to. Lots of uh, finger clicks and whatever to automate that if you wanted. Or you could um, use something like PSC from Waves. This is uh, a plugin that you can use. Um, Logic, Pro Tools, um, LV1, my um, live sound desk has uh, integration for all these plugins as well. But I thought everyone's probably uh, used to Logic, so a bit more used to that, which is cool. So there you go, three ways of looking at it. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. So there you go, you've got three separate ways of doing it, buying the Waves PSC, um, using the gate slash expander on your desk if you've got a digital desk and then obviously using your finger and controlling the send to the wedges. Um, hopefully it's been really helpful for you. Um, if you could leave me a comment below uh, telling me what you want to see next time, that'd be awesome. Otherwise, um, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up, give it a little like. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.